why is important to understand this because here you can see what is happening on each electrode okay at this electrode okay what's happening negative ions are getting uh, absorbed into into the electrode surface okay and these are negative ions so the electrons when the the, the ion gets absorbed in the electrode become available okay become available to the circuit and when you take these electrons out in the other way and you consume those electrons by giving them to the hydronium ions what happens is that you generate oxygen here and you generate hydrogen here um, okay but why what happens next and why is this so important is it is important to understand because it don't stop here actually what happens is the the hydrogen here last is going to form with another molecule what with another two molecules the two hydrogen atoms positively ionized that will result are going to link up with another two molecules of water forming two hydronium ions and these ions are going to travel back are going to travel all the way to the other side okay theoretically okay and they are going to hit the other plate and give the positive charge to the plate actually what happens is that the, the water is full of these ions and so you have a you have those ions distributed as a equidistant matrix so you have positive negative positive negative ne negative positive positive negative positive negative positive x etc so you you don't see a big movement of these these are not going to be much uh, fast because uh, as you have a lot of of these species to 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 run the the voltage drop is not going to be very high now let's get back to what stan told us stan said that the greater is the resistance of the water it's better for us because it's going to act to limit the amperage that uh, that's going to be applied but uh, I think I found how to get how to get advantage of this information and let's see if you understand what I mean when we have let's see let's say we have one and a half volts here okay and we are applying maybe three amps maybe one amp okay one amp just two amps just to make numbers round so we are going to have uh, two amps here flowing uh, actually you are using three watts okay two amps times one and a half volt three watts but what I'm thinking is what I'm considering is that actually we are losing half the way half the half the the work here because we are we are taking the ion converting it but we are generating another ion that we are forcing it back or forcing it through to the other way to 
be able to continue the process okay and I was thinking I was thinking and I tried for many many years this Stanley Meyer uh, things and what I learned is that the best way to go it go for it is to think by myself not thinking about copy not thinking about anything like this just use his words his ideas and try to find how he actually did it because he didn't show it to us actually he hid it the, the better he, he could uh, I'm pretty sure of that I'm, I'm not I don't have I don't have a doubt about, about it so what I believe he did he did uh, thinking all about all this I'm showing to you is that he had a kind of electrode structure that I'm going to draw for you right now okay let me take another paper so he kind of created another structure and a structure that I'm going to show you right now so he would have two electrodes like this okay and the main idea is to use these electrodes as a kind of electron uh, generator electron flow generator and not just the electrolysis source what I, what I mean about that I mean let's first make the circuit okay let's imagine we put here 5 volts okay let's imagine we put 5 volts right here and we get a very very close to this first electrode very very close very close here a very thin mesh screen mesh okay uh, metallic mesh metallic screen pretty much close to the, the electrode less than a tenth of a millimeter gap okay it must be almost glued to the, the the electrode but electrically isolated and I will explain you why in a few few moments also on this electrode we must have this structure okay this I'm drawing like this just so you understand that is a very thin screen of metallic material that is a going to be a kind of secondary electrode um, secondary electrode means okay but what is the main idea here? The idea is the following. Let's say here we have one centimeter or ten millimeters. Okay, let's talk about millimeters. Let's say you have ten millimeters there. And here you get 0 0.3 millimeters let's say you put a, a very thin uh, nylon nylon separator and our stainless steel screen or platinum screen whatever and then here in the book we put some kind of material just to be permeable to the, the the ions okay but that keeps everything under pressure to so we can maintain this distance very very well okay and so let's say this is going to have a very big resistance because 
Um, there is 